the truth the girls. Hi, everyone. Well, Angelina Jolie has undergone a prophylactic double mastectomy because she carries the BRCA1 gene, which greatly increases her risk of breast cancer. Prevent cancer by cutting off the part of your body that might get cancer. I don't know, that sounds a bit medieval to me. Remove one lung and you just cut down your chance of lung cancer by 50%. Everywhere you see articles about how brave she is for having a double mastectomy, she's being hailed as a hero. And this gene is not only associated with a higher risk of breast cancer, but a higher risk of ovarian cancer. So she was brave to have a mastectomy, but she was also brave not to have her ovaries removed. Hero if you do, hero if you don't. I guess you're a hero no matter what you do when you're Angelina Jolie. Well, maybe not to everyone, considering that lots and lots of women have double mastectomies like this all the time, and lots of women go through cancer treatment. So what's so special about what Angelina did? Well, you know what, I, what struck me was how public it was. Why is Angelina so, so very public? about it. Why did she just have the surgery and then get some implants and never mention it? I thought that was strange. And I thought also it was strange how they kept quoting this 87% risk of breast cancer statistic. For BRCA1, the risk of getting breast cancer could be anywhere from 51 to 95%. That's a pretty wide range. So could there be other factors that affect your risk of getting breast cancer? Apparently taking the pill before you turn 20 could raise your risk of breast cancer by as much as a thousand percent. And there's also vitamin D, vitamin D deficiency. There is the uh, 53 BP1 DNA repair factor, which can, even if you have a faulty BRCA1, it, it can help your breast cells to reproduce in a healthy manner in spite of it. And what's interesting too is that vitamin D affects uh, 53 BP1 levels and so maybe vitamin D by this mechanism can actually prevent breast cancer and you won't have to cut off your boobs at all and in fact there was a study that showed that in women over 65 taking a thousand IU of breast cancer a day could reduce your risk of breast cancer by 70 percent so it looks to me like DNA I mean vitamin D and not DNA it is really the, the important thing when it comes to breast cancer prevention. So for one, it does seem a bit radical to have such a radical mastectomy prophylactically. And like I said, why was she so public about it? Well, it did occur to me that, you know, maybe she was involved in doing this somehow for publicity for the, uh, the gene patent on BRCA1 or for the, the cancer industry, medical pharmaceutical industry. I don't want to make any accusations, but I do find it's kind of strange. And Mike Adams wrote a very interesting article on this. Exposed, Angelina Jolie, part of clever corporate scheme to protect billions in BRCA gene patents, influenced Supreme Court decision. Opinion. Okay, it's just their opinion, as they say, but it is strange that there's an upcoming U.S. Supreme Court decision to rule on uh, the viability for BRCA1 gene, as in, should it be that one company could have exclusive rights to a patent on a gene, that, which means that no one else can study that gene. So is it okay for companies to claim patents on genes that are in, in part of the human body so that no one else can study them? That's coming up. And uh, I guess what, what's going on with Angelina Jolie might, might give that a boost. And then there's also a uh, myriad genetic seek stock, see stock price skyrocket thanks to Jolie the stocks have gone up a lot and also apparently they were trying to get a merger with another company and everything that Angelina Jolie has done has really been helping the uh, BRCA1 gene industry uh, myriad uh, genetics and um, the uh, the mastectomy industry well in any case because of what Angelina Jolie did women are kind of panicking about BRCA1 BRCA2 and they're getting themselves tested and maybe a lot of women are going to go and have unnecessary preventative mastectomies when maybe they could be doing something else like checking their vitamin D levels. So you want to know what I think? It's just an opinion, just like Mike Adams' article is just giving an opinion. But in my opinion, I think there's a good chance that Angelina Jolie did this to help the, um, the industry, not to help women. I hate to say that, but 
I think it's very possible. Well, yeah, maybe she just did it because she really doesn't want to get breast cancer. But why is she so public about it? It's like she wants everyone else to do it. And the timing is just too good. Or the whole thing could just be a publicity stunt to boost her career. I'd say that's a pretty extreme publicity stunt. So is Angelina Jolie a hero for having a prophylactic double mastectomy? Or is she maybe not a hero at all? And if you had the BRCA1 or 2 gene, would you have a prophylactic mastectomy? Well, leave me your comments, and thanks for listening to me, and I'll see you next time.